Hello and welcome to Workflow Labs. So this lab is going to be a quick overview about parallel processing and uh, you know the and how how do, how do we define parallel processing? So we 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 will continue to build on the vacation request that we have been working on. So we have, uh, so we, we are working on this vacation request where the vacation request comes in, and the approver either appro approves or reject the reject the notification. We have enhanced it to include a loop where we would resubmit it, and we have also uh, enhanced it to store the value once it's approved, store it in a database. We have added another condition where if the submitter is the approver, we want we don't want to proceed with the vacation request. So we uh, we have added a condition upfront. We also added a new process to reset the input dates. So what I want to show you is now how how these pad how there are different. So within when we created the um, when we created the the sub process or the child process. So we have we have built uh, a few you know, assign assigning steps. And we have done a few things that are, uh, you know, we have done a few things. I have, I want to explain some of things. So in this particular scenario, what we are trying to do is we are using this AND function. What the AND function does is it, it's going to wait till the process one, process two, process three are completed. So in, in this particular example, we are private, we are just assigning the values. Uh, we could as well trigger a program. We can use it. We can call a function. Uh, we can actually define our own function here. Uh, you know, maybe a, a function like uh, you know uh, processing certain things, updating some tables and everything. So we can add those functions here, and we can say uh, you know uh, wait for all the three functions or all the ten functions to com com complete, then proceed to the next step. So that's that's the functionality of the and uh, uh, and and. There's another thing we can look into is the OR. So similar to AND, this is OR. So when it comes to OR, the main difference between AND or OR is if one of them is finished, it will proceed. So this can be used when it's a, you know, when you're building a workflow approval where you know, your request goes to three people and if either one of them approve, you can proceed to the next step. Um, in the previous example where we used AND, uh, we specified one of them has to, um, you know, one of them has to, um, uh, you know, have, have all three has to approve before we continue. That's the AND functionality. Uh, there's another function, another function that we can use, which is called deferred. So a deferred would um, basically uh, defer the processing for some time. So, um, so it basically, it'll, it'll. So what it does is the workflow would end, would uh, basically stop here. And once the workflow background engine kicks in, it will um, it'll, it'll restart restart the process. So, so at this point, um, um, you know we would you know we would wait for these jobs to complete. Uh, then the when once the workflow uh, once the workflow background process is kicked in, this would continue to the deferred deferred process. Uh, the other thing I want to show you is the wait. So there's another thing called wait for workflow to wait workflow. So this is another functionality. Uh, where you can specify, um, we can specify how do we want to, uh, we, can, we can specify the weight for a flow. Um, there are other function, there are other different functions here which you can use. Um, you know, I haven't tried any of the other things, but you can definitely try uh, all these uh, standard functions that are available for you to uh, play with. Um, I, so this for this this chapter, I want you to primarily take a look at it um, and uh, try out these different uh, different functions. Um, you know, so you would be uh, you know you would be um, so at the end of this uh, video, not not this video, the at the end of this chapter, we would take a standard workflow from Oracle and we would uh, try to dissect it. You know how 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 complex or how you know we will get into more details when we go there. But I, at this point, I want you to take a look at it and get familiarized with the uh, concepts here. Thank you.